Hey everyone, welcome back to Lumber Capital Log Yard. Thanks for pressing on this video. Today I'm going to be talking about the best size log to use when you are milling support beams. What I mean by a beam is like a 6x6, a 4x4, a 4x6, the big beams that you use for creating structures like this one we have here. All right, so these are our logs. I have two 10-footers, two 8-footers, and you can see that they are pretty small. We are of the opinion that support beams should most often times be from the heart of the tree. So you can use larger logs and just whittle it down until you have a beam coming from the middle, but it's a lot easier to get uh, heart beams from just a smaller log. So these are going to be, well, this first one here is going to be a four by six. The second one's gonna be a four by six. I don't know about those yet. Now, what do I mean by heartwood? Now you can see here, if you look at the end, the grain, that you got your grain going in a circle like that. The strongest part of your tree is going to be from that middle part there. And it's really important that when you have a beam that you're putting up and whether it's in your house whatever you're building that if it has a lot of weight if it's supporting a lot of weight that it should come out of the center of a tree like that because that's going to be your strong point in your tree now i cut plenty of beams that aren't from the heart of trees i i'm sure you've seen me take a huge log can't it to a 12 by 12 and cut six by sixes and get four six by sixes out of it. That's perfectly fine. It just depends on your application. So if you are here shopping at our log yard, we do we don't separate heart beams from not heart beams, but it's kind of your job as a person building to look at the grain. It's very obvious once you know what you're looking at uh, to tell whether it is from the heart of a tree or not because most of the time it doesn't matter but you have to know what you're using it for. So that's the customer's job to to pay attention to and I, we certainly do offer it. If you guys ask, hey I, I do need a beam that is from the center of a tree like that that's no big deal. We can toss it on the mill, make whatever dimension out of whatever log you really want, but it's not separated at our log yard. All right, so we're gonna stand up, roll this baby on, just a tiny one, so they're kind of easy to mess around with here. Just you can pick up all the whole end of it. It's a little different story from some, for some of those larger logs that we do. All right, let me roll on this log here and we will get to cutting it this four by six.
One advantage that I would like to mention about utilizing smaller logs like this in your log yard is that then this part of the tree isn't left in the woods because a lot of the times when you see smaller logs like this, uh, the boss brings them from his log site because he hates to waste, but smaller stuff, the tops of the trees, which is where these would have come from, are oftentimes just left and it's not the end of the world, but it's certainly unfortunate when you could bring them back and use them for something like beams, which they're just so perfect for. So it, what the only unfortunate thing is that you're still taking off four slabs. So you're still making your four cuts that you would make regardless of the size of the log, if that makes sense. So it's almost like it takes longer to cut smaller logs in the long run because you're taking more cuts off. So that is a downfall. That's why you'll hear some slayers don't like using smaller logs like this, but it's when it's either that or waste, what are you gonna do? And you got a good beam out of it. So in the end, this is what we prefer, but this is just our opinion. You guys do what works best for you and everything will run smoothly. So. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time.